Nice. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. Are you the brawler who takes bets? What's it to you? I'm a Scalitz refugee, and I'd like to try my luck against you. Hang on, I know who you are. And I'll only fight you for silver. Got it? All right, let's fight then, if you think you can take me. Hold your horses, laddie. First, you have to prove you're a worthy opponent for me by beating two other regular brawlers, Stephen and a fellow they call Ringlet. Take care now. Can I ask? Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. I have some, uh... Let's see. Good. hurt your opponent. It's no use just flailing at him and hoping you get lucky. You need technique, but using skilled moves is no easy matter. There's no miraculous strikes you can learn that will ensure you win every duel. You've got to work those techniques into your combat, force your opponent into a position you want him in, and then attack unexpectedly. See? I strike from overhead, then slash from the side, back swing low down so you expect me to strike from below but then i turn the sword and strike you with the other side once more defend Ow. now you try it strike from above then from the right then slash the strikes have to follow quickly one after the other as soon as one lands you start the next 
You have to keep exactly to the sequence, otherwise it won't come off. Slash from above. Slash from the right. Slash from below. Go! Ugh. Try to catch the rhythm. As soon as one below lands, change the target zone and strike again, right away. Don't stop. That's it. Try it once more. That's it. Try it once more. Yes. All right. You can learn lots of similar techniques with every weapon. Train and practice. I think I've mastered the basics of combat. Could you teach me something a bit more advanced? I see. And what weapon are you such a master at? I'm pretty good with a sword. You're a bit cocky, ain't you? All right, then, let's see what you can do. If you're as good as you think you are, I'll teach you some master strikes. I'm ready. Take your weapon and fight. If you look like you know what you're doing, I'll teach you a trick or two. Ugh. Enough. That will do. That wasn't at all bad. All right. It seems you're ready for the next lesson. Now, pay close attention. I'll teach you the most important thing. It's good to be able to attack. It's good to be able to fend off your opponent's blows. The best is when you're able to do both at once. A master stroke is when you parry your opponent's blow and strike him at the same time. Attack me, and I'll show you how it's done. strike in one move. There's no defense against this technique if it's executed well. The thing is to time it right. Block right into your opponent's strike and match your movement to his. One elegant technique and the fight is won. Try it. I'll attack slowly. You parry. Well done. Ah, that's it. Ah! I'd like to improve my swordsman. Certainly. Well. If you want to really hurt your opponent, it's no use just flailing at him and hoping you get lucky. You need technique, but using skilled moves is no easy matter. No miraculous strikes you can learn that will ensure you win every duel. You 
You've got to work those techniques into your combat. Force your opponent into a position you want him in. Then attack unexpected. Ow. Ah. See? I strike from overhead, then slash from the side, and back swing low down. So you expect me to strike from below, but then I turn the sword and strike you with the other side. Once more, defend. Now, you try it. Strike from above, then from the right, then slash. Strikes have to follow quickly, one after the other. As soon as one lands, you start the next. You have to keep exactly to the sequence, otherwise it won't come off. Slash from above, slash from the right, slash from below. Go! That's it. Try it once more. That's it. Try it once more. Good. Again. All right. You can learn lots of similar techniques with every weapon. Train and practice. I'd like to train a bit. Just right. What weapon would you like to try? I've got a bastard sword, a short sword. We can fight. I'll try the mace. The armor smack. And I'll take a shield, too. Right, lad. Grab your pee. Oh, are you? I'd like to train him. Right. What weapon would you... I still don't feel it. Right, lad. Oh. 
Yeah. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? I'd like to ask you one more thing. Yes? That's all clear. Goodbye. Master Fayfar, I need to speak with you. I found out something about the counterfeit coin. Did you really? Do tell. Close to Rovna, I came across a wagon that was transporting the false coins. Unfortunately, I came too late. The carter and his men were dead. Damn and blast. Do you know who did it? Yes. A certain knight turned up there. Turned out he was also after the forgers. Well, that is indeed unexpected. Tell me, what did he say? He gave me these documents to show you. He seemed to think they prove he was telling the truth. They're the records of the interrogations in Passau, and some other things he said you'd understand better than him. Hmm. Let me see. We, the aldermen of the city of Passau, mm -hmm. interrogation held this day, mm -hmm. put to pain by the quester. Okay. The place of origin is a monastery in the land of Bohemia. Hmm. Which certainly confirms my suspicion that something underhand is going on in Sasso. Coin assay report. Copper core coated with amalgam. Ah, but this is interesting. Here's an outlying description of how the forgeries are made. 
I'll have to study it more closely. We command her, Ulrich, to investigate and let no man stand in his way. This looks like the original safe conduct. It has the seal of the Paso alderman. But they certainly didn't pen this. How do you know? I recognise the hand. It's a Clement of Caplitz, the high scribe of the Rosenbergs. So what does all this mean? Well, it certainly explains why your night is so mysterious. Anyway, we should be careful. And we shall begin our investigation. The documents show they use silver amalgam for coating copper fakes. That's a lead we can follow. Amal what? Silver amalgam. It's produced from quicksilver and silver. Well, that doesn't sound like something just anyone can get hold of. Hmm, you're quite right. You will go to Sasso at once. Look around the forges in the city. Someone must be working copper for them. I, meanwhile, will take counsel with Sir Radzik and then follow after you. Where shall we meet? At the inn on Sasso Market Square. Goodbye. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? <laughs>